Fuel consumption, distance, speed, time calculations. When you do your assessment, that there will be a question in your test asking how much fuel will a certain boat use. Now this is pretty important, I'm going to keep it in quite simple terms to make it easy to understand. Okay, if we have a look at the chart, and we'll say we're going to plan a trip from point A to point B. Let's say for example this trip might be from Scarborough to Mud Island, which is a sample in Moreton Bay. I would need to measure the distance. Now I'm going to keep the figures nice and simple. Down here there's a scale for measuring distance, and let's say the distance of a trip is 15 nautical miles. That's the first thing we would need to understand. The next thing you'd need to understand is the, is the speed your vessel will travel at. Now, once again, I want to keep this, the figures nice and simple. We're going to pick a boat speed of 15 knots. Now, probably the easiest way to explain this might be, let's relate it to your, to your car. If I gave you an example of the distance between Brisbane and Sydney was 1,000 kilometres, and your car was to travel at a speed of 100 kilometres per hour, we would all know that if you divided the 10 into the 100, it would take you 10 hours to get there. Now what you need to understand is time equals distance divided by speed. When we talk fuel consumption on a vessel, we always talk in litres per hour. So what we're going to do is work out how long it's going to take us to get somewhere. We spoke about how much fuel your boat would use per hour. Once we've done our calculation, we must allow enough for reserve. So what the golden rule of thumb is, we carry enough fuel to get there, enough fuel to get back, and enough fuel to get back again. Time equals distance divided by speed. So on our chart, we measured 15 nautical miles. we had a boat speed of 15 knots. Therefore, the duration of this trip would take one hour. And once again, I'm, I'm trying to keep the figures nice and simple. If our boat's fuel consumption was 20 litres per hour, we would already know this about our boat. We should never do a trip without understanding our boat's fuel consumption. We would carry enough fuel to get there. 20 litres, we would carry enough fuel to return, 20 litres, and we would carry another 20 litres as our contingency or reserve. So enough to get there, enough to get back, and enough to get back again. And if we do that, we'll have a good safe day on the water without running out of fuel.